This is Broke Pen, my free to play account. After playing for one month, I unlocked 24 new brawlers, and last week, I got four legendary star drops too. But this week, my friends decided to torture me. I think I'm losing my mind. Hypercharge! Hey, let's go! And here's what happened. If you want to be a part of future videos, join my Discord server here. On the first day of week 4, I had a ton of fun. My goal here was to get to 5750 trophies and I played with some friends too. I started off with Terra since I had some quests with her and since my teammates had more trophies than I did, I felt like I would have some tougher matchups and I wasn't really wrong. Enemies kept two-shotting me and I felt severely underleveled. My only goal was to contribute somehow and that meant chipping away at enemies and getting my super. And then this happened. <laughs> but my teammates helped me finish this one off. I got 7 kills that game and the other 2 games I barely contributed as my compadres went wild. I had a wipeout quest and it was on Snake Prairie. So naturally, I took the bandita. What I've noticed lately is that every account has one or two favorite brawlers that they get to a very high power level and this made me feel feeble. Despite struggling a bit against some of the brawlers I'm supposed to counter, my team carried me to 300 on Shelly. I also forgot to check my surroundings and that really cost me in another game. Shushu the Bull was super aggro this game and they got a lot of kills but also ended up dying a lot as well. The next few games were swell and after finishing up my quest, my teammates left me and I was all alone. Safe zone, call for Chuck, so I rolled with that. My first game here was interesting as I wasn't 100% sure about the post placement. But this brawler is amazing on heist and once you get your post set up, it is game over for the other team. I conducted Chuck to a string of victories using this NPC approach and I had a Brock on my team for all of these due to the play again quest and that's where I met the Colette of my dreams. Dennis was a hypercharged Paulette and with him on my team the wins just kept racking up. The synergy between me rushing the safe and Colette's beefed up hypercharged super, the safe and other teams didn't really stand a chance at all. I got to 300 trophies and after a few more we amassed a 12 game win streak which was unfortunate unfortunately cut short due to one game where my team was outclassed by an amazing Carl. I continued on with Dennis and after a while, I got to 400 trophies which Dennis was graciously there for and after that we parted ways unfortunately. From the free pass, I collected 50 power points from a super rare star drop and from the trophy road, I copped 200 coins. On day 23, I set my sights on 6,000 trophies and I'll tell you why in a bit. But before that, if you love this sort of content and want early access to it, become a channel member today as it will help me a lot in terms of producing more content such as this for you. Bo was first on the docket since he had to get 100,000 damage. I upgraded him to power 4 so that it wouldn't take me as long, but with my teammates running hypercharge brawlers, it still took me a while to do it. The games were actually very easy since Minecart Madness had some good pinch points and good areas to drop your mines, and my teammates were running riot on the map with the purple button. So yeah, there's that. After I completed Bo's quest, I moved on to Terra as she had the same task. So I started facing the same issues that I faced earlier, with enemies being so overleveled that I was getting two-shotted repeatedly. Honestly. Playing with teammates seems to be a blessing and a curse. While they do know how to play the game, the higher overall trophies means that I face way stronger opponents as well. I wanted to actually contribute to the push, but my teammates were carrying <laughs> relentlessly and they even got me to 5900 trophies rather quickly. After a few more games, I had my 300 trophy game with Terra, and this time I actually did something. I was able to get some double sucks and even some triple sucks with my super, and I actually managed to pull my weight once more. Next, I got my both at 300 trophies, and that was basically a game of me rushing around the map. To finish off the day, I hopped on to Nita. 
and a lot of games here were won by overpowering opponents, but some were also won just because of game sense. Nita is one of my favorite brawlers, and within a couple of games with her, I was at my 6000 trophy game, which also went by in a breeze. I terrorized opponents for a couple minutes, and I hadn't even realized that I was at my 300 trophy game with her, which was also rather trivial due to my teammates. Today, I got 750 coins from Nita's mastery, 50 coins from a rare star drop from the free pass and from the trophy road i got 430 credits for getting the 6000 trophies and i'm inching ever closer to leon it's day 24 and i'm crawling by at a snail's pace in my progression but if i get the 6300 trophies i get a lot of credits so that's my goal i started off with poco since i had a dole uh, 100,000 damage with him and my gang i hopped into brawl ball I wasn't making that much progress towards the quest and to add insult to injury I tried a trick shot and failed as well. Regardless, I kept getting my super and healing my teammates and because of the strategy, I got Poco to 200 pretty easily. In one of the games, I was cooking and even did 45,000 damage. And after completing my quest with Poco, I hopped on to Mortis instead. Mortis has always been a really fun brawler for me. And in one of my games, I even got eight kills, which was actually awesome. And in another, I even got this really cool kill on Buzz. I didn't even know that was possible. After this, Aaron had to leave and Exotic joined in his place and I was looking to further the streak with him and we lost in our very first game and this is how things are going to keep going with Exotic. You guys will see. I continued on with Mortis for another 10 minutes and even got a team wipe at one point. I was at my 300 Mortis game and I did pretty well in that one, netting 5 kills in that one as well. Barley has been a brawler that hasn't been kind to me and with some help from my team Teammates, I thought I could change that outcome. The games were still very challenging as I didn't upgrade my barley just yet. I faced so many higher power brawlers and it was agonizing trying to maintain a lane quite honestly. I even faced some sturdy hags and that was painful for me as they tended to one shot me. Just watch this power 10 hank in my 6300 trophy game completely dominate me and all our lanes repeatedly. I don't like quitting and this time Hector hopped onto the bowl and got us safely to that milestone. Today from the free pass, I got 200 XP doublers from a rare star drop, and from the trophy road, I earned 100 coins from a super rare star drop and 300 credits for getting the 6300, which puts us even closer to getting Leon. So on day 25, the new Brawl Together community event started. That basically means that for every milestone that we as a community make, we get a lot more rewards, but they're hosting a ton of quests as well to give you even more XP. So my goal was to get to 6500 trophies while while finishing all these quests to get as many tail and star drops from the free pass as possible. I played with some friends to make this go by fast and since Poco had some quests that needed to be done, I headed right in. I needed to play 9 games to get as many rewards as possible and with Sleepy playing a hypercharged Maisie, this was super quick. I breezed through my 300 trophy Poco game and a few minutes later I faced my first ever Larry in Brawl Stars and I was anxious about this one because I don't know if you guys have heard. This brawler is beyond broken. So I try to be as careful as possible and my teammates and I cop the dub. A few minutes later, we faced another Larry. And this time, I was being hunted by the enemy Rosa. And with the combination of the damage output from the twins and the bulk of Rosa, it just did not work out for us. And despite Sleepy's best efforts, we took our first L of the day. The rest of the Poco run was rather smooth. And afterwards, I collected all my star drops. I got 25 power points from the first one, a sprout spray from the second, 50 coins from the third, and 7,700 XP from finishing the quest which gave us another five star drops on the free pass but that's for later with the following series of games i felt like it was world finals in every single game with all my brawlers seemingly under leveled i was being bullied by anita on carl and most of the time i was on bruce duty i'm not sure how we managed to clutch this reset but that set us on a path towards the victory but it was definitely hard fought and i honestly think that calls for a solid 
help. Next, I brought out the B thinking that it might be slightly easier, but it was not. Every game was super scary, and somehow my team and I managed to take dub after dub till my 200 trophy game. I felt like we had it in the bag, but somehow I blinked and all of us died. And we also lost all of our gems in the process without there being any hope for a reset. But I didn't let that phase me. I tried again, and this time we copped the dub. Next, I got on my bow, and these games were rather straightforward. I really needed that reprieve, and honestly, we cruised all the way to 300 trophies. To finish off today, I took Rosa out, and with a couple wins, I was able to get my account to the goal for the day. For all this toil, from the trophy road, I got 25 power points from a rare star drop, 200 coins for getting to 6,500 trophies, and from the free pass, I have received 50 power points from 4 super rare star drop, 100 XP doublers from a rare star drop, and 100 coins from a super rare star drop. On the 20 6th day of my free to play series, I wanted to hit a milestone of 6750 trophies and get a couple brawlers to 300 as well. I started off with 8 bits since I had a 15 enemy kill quest with him and my teammates didn't let me get any kills for a couple of games. But after clearing my 3 wins on gem grab, I swapped over to brawl ball thinking that I might have a better chance. That was a good decision as I got 6 kills in my very next game. A couple minutes later, I finished the kill quest, but I found out that Sleepy didn't know that auto aiming a ball equals a goal. How did he not know that? <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. My 300 trophy game on 8-bit was also pretty simple, especially since our Sandy Zemp used his stun gadget effectively to net us a lot of goals. I swapped to Brock as I had a 5 win quest with him, and yes, he is underleveled, so I needed to be very careful or risk dying often. With Rocket Rain, Brock Super, I was able to break down a lot of the opponent's walls and made the matches go by even faster in Backyard Bull. Luckily, I was able to connect my shots quite a lot, and even my super, so I wasn't completely a dead weight for my team. And on my 300 trophy game with the Riz God, I did alright, except I messed up a wall break here and got my super baited by a stew, which was, I guess, hilarious, honestly. Regardless, we got the goal, and then I moved on to the conductor to cap off the day. I upgraded him from power 6 to power 7 and chugged my way onto bridge too far, but right into a path of a double Jesse and Edgar team. This seems scary, since one of the junkers was already running their hypercharge, but after trying my best to get set up with Italiano, it went off really trivially, and I managed to get to 6750, which was the goal for the day. For my troubles, I got 100 coins from a super rare star drop from the trophy road, and from a free pass, I received another 50 coins from a rare star drop and the fidget spinner gadget from a mythic star drop, and from the Brawl Together community event, I received 100 power points from an epic star drop, so that's a lot of progression. I had the most fun and the most pain in Brawl Stars on day 27 of this free to play series. The goal was to get to 7,000 trophies and I had to kill 15 enemies with Rosa. Since my Rosa was under level, she wasn't as bulky and she didn't quite pack a punch either. And getting those kills was rather hard. After a few games of torture, I managed to get to 6,800 trophies and struggling on with a few more, I got Rosa to 300, but I was still not done with my Rosa kill quest. Sleepy just did not want me getting any kills whatsoever. I had three straight zero kill games back to back to back. At this point, if I got a kill, I started celebrating. Yes, yes. But unfortunately, we ended up losing a match and then my teammates wanted to torture me even more. They brought out the 800 plus trophy Colt and Kit combo and my poor Rosa had to figure out how to get any damage without dying. I don't know how I managed to struggle and strive and somehow managed to claw together one kill in three games and then I lost it. I think I'm losing my mind. Hypercharge! Yeah, let's go! Oh, do I get the kill? No, yes, yes, I get the kill on Dynamite. Let's go. I don't even care. I got one kill, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Oh, he thought that I would not know the strats. He thought that I would not- Yeah! Second kill! Let's go! That's almost as good as winning! Yeah! Oh! Oh, I feel good!
Yes, one more. Yes, I got two kills. I won. Yes, sleep me. Screw you guys. I won. Yes. Woo. Woo. I won. <laughs> Anyway, after 40 mind-numbing minutes of just Rosa, I hopped on the Primo and the games were still very difficult. I was barely able to survive most of my matchups, and honestly, this feels like Brawl Stars in hard mode. After a two-loss streak, I got some wins back and finally got the Luchador to 300 trophies. Next up was B, and with her, my account got to 6900 trophies quite easily. I did have a very sketchy game where I faced a double buzz comp, and that was so frustrating as they just kept stunning me repeatedly but luckily it ended in a draw in my 300 trophy game since we were very under leveled my team and i faced a very difficult comp hank and jackie just have way too much hp for the damage my team was outputting and honestly we got completely folded like lawn chairs luckily i was able to try again after a few games and at least that was a dub i took out cole for my 7000 trophy game as i needed a breather and cole did pretty okay all things considered for all all the torture I was put through today, I earned 200 coins from the trophy road and another 100 coins from a super rare star drop. It was completely worth it, right? Please, please tell me it was worth it. On the final day of week four, I wanted to get some more credits to get closer to unlocking Leon. And for that, I needed to get to 7150 trophies first. I took Bull since I had a damage quest with him, and since the map is double swoosh, I thought I'd be able to cook with him. Game one was a heaven sent since I was facing a Frank and a Meg. I could just keep chaining my rushes and playing Bull like an assassin rather than a tank. I kept harassing Gummy and UI Cab and even got seven kills that game. The other games also went similarly as I kept hammering the opponents and within three games I finished the damage quest. Next I opted for Bull and since he's under leveled I upgraded him to power 6. My team had a really good comp with Bull, Mandy and Piper on Shooting Star and honestly Hector was cooking on that Mandy. He got so many kills on Wipeout and Exotic and I also contributed a bit with my mines and his damage output too. 10 minutes in I had my 7100 trophy game and honestly I didn't do much at all. We then moved on from Wipeout to Brawl Ball and I took Barley. I haven't had the best luck with this brawler so I upgraded him to Power 3 for a little bit more spiciness. Right off the bat, we had a terrible call for this map with both Barley and Grom on the same team. We did not cook. We got roasted instead. Miko and Kid just kept harassing us repeatedly and predictably it was a loss. After fixing our comp a bit, we went back in and it was working out, though it seemed like it was all on Hector to carry us with his hypercharged spike. I did get some good supers though, and Exotic just existed while Hector was BMing a lot. My 200 trophy game was just pure comedy as I missed a clean super kick goal, which I could have auto-aimed, but I'm an idiot. But I found out that Sleepy didn't know that auto-aiming a ball equals a goal. How did he not know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then we as a team started doing trick shots only and we missed a lot of them. With Hector gone, Zemp took center stage and this man just kept going crazy with the recall. He made his holiday getaway on the top right corner of the map and just kept harassing multiple teams. It felt like it was Zemp's world and we were merely spectators. And after a while, I got to 7250 and I collected my final rewards for the week. From the free pass, I got 100 XP doublers from a rare star drop, 200 coins from the epic star drops from the Brawl Together event, and 500 credits from the trophy road that puts us very close to getting Leon. Thanks to Exotic, Sleepy, Shushu, Zemp, Hector, Froyo, Star, and Aaron for helping this week. Unfortunately, I didn't get any new brawlers this week, but I'm hoping that changes in the coming week. If you missed the last episode, you can check it out here. And remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.